in this video we will learn about how to create the 3d model of the hub as per the dimensions shown in this diagram let's create this 3d model by using on shape click on create select a document rename the document as hub experiment 11 click on create so here this is actually the front view and the cross section of the front and we have created the side view here okay so this cross section is actually represents the side view cross section cross sectional side view okay so in this let's try to create this portion and then we can able to make a revolve of it after creating the revolve we can able to create this slots okay first let us try to make this cross section in the side view so let me select the right plane and click on sketch view normal to sketch plane so let's try to create the rough profile of this on the right plane so we have created the rough profile here now let's try to create this axis line so this axis line let's try to create it so axis for that let me select the construction line here this diameter is 45 mm so once you had given the construction line we can able to dimension it based on diameter also so dimension between this length and this one so diametral dimension we can able to provide it so first dimension is 45 second dimension 65 so between this one and this one the dimension is 65 and between this point and this axis is 100 and the last one so the tip we can able to get it from the front view so which is of diameter 160 so from this place to the axis it's 160 so now we have completed the profile of with respect to the diametral dimensions let's provide this thicknesses so 10 35 and from the end it is 60 so this is 10 and between this point to this point it's 35 and from here to here it is 60 tip to tip it is 60 so now we have completed this cross section let's confirm the sketch let's try to use the revolve command so this is the revolve command click on the revolve so face our sketch regions to revolve is this and the revolve axis select this axis line so you can able to see here we can able to create the revolve of the cross section we have drawn profile cross section we have drawn so confirm the revolve command so here in this we need to create this three slots so that three slots dimension is given over here the radius is 5 and the angle of slot is given as 60 degree so let's try to create this angle 
with the reference and then we will make a slot. So this slot is at a diameter of 128. Okay. So let's try to make that on this face. So select the face and then make a sketch. View normal to it. So here let's try to create the reference arc. So the reference arc I'm going to create it based on center point arc command. So center point arc. So this is the center and starts from here, the radius till here. Okay. So this is the reference arc. So this reference arc, I'm uh, using it as for the construction purpose. So select this arc and change it as a construction line. And then for providing the angle, we need a reference line here. So let me draw the reference line from here to the axis. And let's try to dimension it. So dimension between the horizontal plane and this line, the angle is 60 degree. And the dimension of this arc. So here you can see the radius. So the radius should be. So the diameter is 128. So the radius is 128 divided by 2. So that represents the radius. So radius is 64. Okay. So now we have drawn the reference arc. Based on this reference arc, let's try to create a slot. So let me create a slot based on this reference arc. So here diameter is 20, but we need the radius of 5. So here the radius is 5. So diameter should be 10. So let's change the diameter as 10. And then to confirm the slot, click on the left mouse button. So now we have created the profile of the slot. Let's confirm the sketch. So here the profile is available. Let's try to extrude it. So in the extrude, we are going to remove the material. So select remove. For sketch region, select the profile. So here, it's going to cut the entire one. So we can use up to face or up to next or through all. Any command we can able to prefer here. So if you give up to next also, the next up to the next face, it will try to make a slot. Or you can use the up to face and you can select this particular face. That also possible. Another option is you can make it as a through all. Okay, so here up to next also will work. So let me select up to next and then confirm the extrude command. So one slot we have created here. Let's try to make the three slots by using a circular pattern. So for creating a circular pattern, select the circular pattern from the 3D command. So here it is. Here I'm going to pattern this particular feature, slot feature. So select the feature pattern from the drop down. Features to pattern, you select this extrude. And axis of the pattern, you can select any circle here. So either it may be this circle or this circle or this circle or this circle. All these four circles represents the common axis. So you can select any circle you want. So here I'm selecting it. So the default instance count is four, but actually we need three instances. So let's change the instance count to three. So now the instance count is changed to three. Let's confirm the circular pattern. Okay. So now the pattern, we have created the solid model as per the dimensions here. Let's try to make the drawing of this hub. So to create the drawing, first let us try to rename this part. So let me rename the part as hub.
click on the part name and select create drawing of hub so here we already discussed about how to upload the template so already the template is uploaded here select the template and then click ok so here the default front view will come so select it and come out of the command so in this one let's try to make the section view from here so to create the section view go to this place so select the section view so here i'm going to create a vertical cross section so default option is vertical suppose if it is horizontal change it into vertical and select the center portion and move your mouse to the left side so you can able to create the section view of the hub so here we have created the section view so in this section view the hatching pattern is as per the iso format if you want to change it as a continuous line as per the standard ANSI, then you can able to go to this drawing properties go to the drawing views here change the hatch pattern from iso to ANSI, so that you will get a continuous pattern of it and if you want to create a 3d view go to projected view select the front view and move towards the side you can able to get the isometric view to make it shared at right click first come out of the command then right click go to show bar hide select show shaded view and let's try to create the axis over here so the default axis representation is not available here so for that you can select edge to edge center line so select this edge automatically the center line will come over here let's try to dimension it so dimension between this two is 65 so here it should be represented as diameter so prefix you insert the symbol diameter and then between this two so here it's coming as 45 click on this plus or minus 0.1 and insert the symbol diameter come out of it then click between these two points so here it is 100 the diameter is 100 insert the symbol pi and come out of it and the last one here so this one you can able to represent it on this side and click on this plus or minus and then select the symbol pi and press escape to come out of the command so here first let's try to make the center a reference for this slots so for creating that let's try to create a three point center line okay so between this center this center and the center so three points if you click it you will get the three point center line based on the 
center of the slots I had created the reference line. So now this diameter, let's try to dimension it. So this diameter is 128. Now let's try to provide the thickness over here. So this thickness is 10. From here to here, the thickness is 35. And between this tip to here, it is 60. So tip to tip, it is 60. And then here we need this diameter distance. So the radius is 5. And then let's try to provide the angle. So here the angular dimension I am going to make it. So here 3 point angular dimension. Okay. So between this one, this one and this one. Sorry, let's try to make it in reverse. So first center point, this one, and then this one. So here, this dimension is 60 degree. So first select the center for the three point angular dimension. So here is your three point angular dimension. For that, first select the center and then select the two centers of this slots the edge centers of this slots almost we completed all the dimensions let's check so this inner diameter is given outer diameter is given so the base diameter smaller diameter and bigger diameter is given all thicknesses are given reference diameter is given so slot radius is given slot angle is given okay so now all the dimensions are completed thanks for watching the video